The streetcars started in the center of the city and radiated out really in all directions to help people get from their homes to the industries and the stores and the other places where they work. Uh, so at one point, um, early in the 20th century, um, you could live almost anywhere in the city and be only a short walk from a streetcar line that could take you anywhere else in the city. Unlike today, where transit systems are publicly owned and operated, the streetcar companies were for-profit companies. They were expected to pay their way, pay dividends to their shareholders, pay their costs, all out of the fare box without any kind of subsidy. There's not a lot of evidence left of where the streetcars ran. You can drive down the streets that had streetcar lines, double track, single track, and not see any evidence of it at all. Uh, trolley poles are gone, the rails have been pulled up. Uh, but there is a spot in German Village on Mohawk Street where you can sort of read a shadow of the past. It's the curve onto Mohawk Street on the north side of the park, where there was an extra wide radius in the curve so that the streetcars could make the curve. So when the tracks came out in the 1950s, the street was repaved in the center part and uh, evidence of the streetcar was left. I thought it was kind of a nice detail on the part of the city to put in the uh, white bricks down the center. There are several other streetcar artifacts, you might say, left in the city. In German Village, uh, and right next to German Village, there are two surviving car barns. One actually was a car barn for the horse cars and is now in office use, known as the Old World Center. The other car barn fronts onto High Street and was from a later period, uh, but both were in use by the street railway company. Once people began to buy and drive automobiles, after about 1915 or 1920, it became harder and harder for the streetcar companies to, to stay in business. To economize, uh, they started substituting buses. Columbus made a change to electric buses until the mid-1960s and used the same streetcar facilities that the electric streetcars had used, uh, but they were adapted for bus maintenance instead. And we're headed out to the car barns uh, that are still standing. This is the Oak and Kelton Car Barn Complex. This is probably the biggest, best preserved uh, collection of buildings from the streetcar period in Columbus. We're lucky to have them with us, that they haven't disappeared. This is not fancy architecture here at the car barns by any means, but it's really good architecture. It's very functional, extremely well built, a solid stone foundation, solid brick walls, big windows to provide light. These are really interesting buildings. There were several buildings in the complex, car barns, there was a paint shop, a little building for storing oil, an office building. There was a foundry for pouring brass and bronze pieces. Uh, people had to know electricity. These things ran on probably 600 volts direct current, which is really strong electricity. So people had to know what they were doing here. Taking care of these streetcars was a very skilled occupation. This is the office building where the whole complex was managed. Uh, there, would, there would be record keeping and fares were counted here. So one of the big jobs at the complex here was to wrap up all the coins that came in the fare box every day. There was a power plant to generate its own power, steam, heat, electricity. And it all took place right here at this complex for many, many years, from the late 19th century well into the 20th century. Cota used the facility for a long time and maintained buses here, but moved to more modern facilities to their centralized location on uh, McKinley Avenue. So facilities like this just became outmoded. They weren't useful anymore. It was sold privately. Uh, we're hoping that this complex will be preserved uh, as much as possible in its current state. It would lend itself well to all kinds of uses. Uh, what the current planning is, I can't say for sure, but we certainly hope it's something that will happen sometime in the near future.